Boy Scout Troop 285 will lead us Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag. Please remain standing. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. The Blount County Legislative Body is now in session with the Honorable Jerome Moon, Chairman, presiding. All person having business with this Honorable Commission, draw near, give attention, and you shall be heard. God save the United States of America, the great state of Tennessee, and this Honorable Commissioners. Now you may be seated, please. I'd like to welcome everyone this evening to the November 21st, 2013 Blunt County Board of Commissioners meeting. This time, would you please give your attention to the emergency evacuation procedures. Before we get started, let me read the emergency evacuation procedures. In the event of an emergency evacuation, an alarm will sound. Everyone should exit the building by way of the nearest stairwell in a safe and effective manner. If the nearest stairwell is blocked by smoke, use the other stairwell. Do not use the elevator. Once you have reached the main floor, follow the exit signs to exit the building and quickly proceed away from the building. Please be mindful of others evacuating and of emergency vehicles. This time the commission will come to order. Please register your presence by voting yes. If you have 19 present, two absent, you have a quorum. 19 present, two absents. Commissioner Lambert is ill this evening, and Commissioner Gamble has a scheduling conflict. At this time, the chair will stand for a motion to set the agenda. Mr. Lewis moves. Mr. Carver seconds. Are the members ready for the question? Vote yes to set the agenda. Vote no not to set. Nineteen yeses, two absent. Nineteen yes, two absent. The agenda is set. Agenda item B, the consent calendar. The chair will stand for a motion to approve the consent calendar. Mr. French moves. Mr. Carver seconds. Discussion. Are the members ready for the question? Vote yes to approve the consent calendar. Vote no not to approve. We have 19 yeses and two absent. 19 yes, two absent. The consent calendar is approved. At this time, I would like to recognize Commissioner Lewis for a presentation.
This is usually a time for us when we get uh, to make presentations and uh, actually give recognition to folks who are out there doing good work. Uh, so it's a little unusual that we would be in a position to actually get the tables turned a little bit and uh, actually have somebody come and actually recognize us uh, for some of the work we've done. And tonight, uh, the Blunt County Children's Advocacy Center uh, is here. And I'd like to ask Patty Clevenger to come forward, talk a little bit about the center right here, please. Uh, and then the reason that, that you guys are here tonight. Thank you, Mike. Uh, my name is Patty Clevenger, and I'm the Vice President-Elect of New Hope Children's Advocacy Center, and I'm here on behalf of our staff and our Board of Directors. In 2012, New Hope joined the National One with Courage campaign centered on a bravery it takes to talk about child sexual abuse and to support prevention and awareness programs. New, at New Hope, we believe the end of child abuse begins with putting fear aside and building informed, empowered communities with the courage to talk openly about the issue. Since 2012, over 1,500 members of our community here in Blount County have been trained in the One With Courage Stewards of Children campaign. In July 2013, we all sat in this area as y'all unanimously approved <clears throat> excuse me, the Victims Assistance Resolution, which has supported New Hope programs and services. Through your resolution, we have received $26,041.22 to date. Your actions have also generated more awareness about child abuse in Blount County. We often point the finger at Blount County individuals, organizations, and businesses. So tonight, shown the courage to fight child abuse and bring awareness to this issue. With that said, New Hope is pointing the finger at the Blunt County Commission and each one of you for being one with courage. And thank you for your support and everything you've done for New Hope. I can get the floor for two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much, really. That's And I will let your chairman keep the finger in case he needs to point it no, anymore. No, that, 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 that. All right, thank you. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Commissioner Lewis. And thank you, Child Ad New Hope Child Advocacy Center. now move to item C on the agenda, public input on items on the agenda. Do you have anyone who wishes to address the commission? Seeing no hands, there's no items of business under agenda items D or E. The next item of business is F1A. The chair will stand for motion on F1A, a budget transfer and the general purpose school fund in the amount of $105,300. We have a motion on F1A, 1B, and 1C. B is a resolution to amend the general purpose school fund budget, and C is a resolution amending the general purpose school fund budget. Mr. Commissioner Samples moves, and the second, Mr. French. The motion is to approve the budget transfer and to adopt the two resolutions. Commissioner Burkhalter, you're recognized. 
I didn't mean to hit my button. I'm sorry. Commissioner Birchfield, excuse me. Um, if it's okay with everyone, I'd rather A be separated because um, that's an issue I'd like to discuss. That's uh, that's an order that's been requested. Divide the question. So we'll take F1A if the motion maker approves and if the second approves. The pending motion is the budget transfer for the general purpose school fund, the amount of $105,300. Commissioner Birchfield, do you wish to be recognized? Yes, and, and this is more of an opinion, and I just want to share it with everyone so you understand why I'm voting the way I am. Um, not that I don't appreciate the TAs, because I do, but that money could be used for books, and I can't support. I just want everyone to know why I can't, I'm not going to support this, because we have a book issue, and $105,000 would go a long way at buying some books. Are the members ready for the question? The pending motion is a budget transfer in the amount of $105,300. Vote yes to approve the transfer. Vote no not to approve. And 15 yeses, four noes, and two absent. 15 yes, four no's. The budget transfer is approved. The next item of business is F1B, resolution 13-11002 to amend the general purpose school fund budget by $2,424. Commissioner Wright moves. Is there a second? Commissioner Sample seconds. The motion is to adopt resolution 13-11002. Are the members ready for the question? Vote yes to adopt, vote no not to adopt. Yes, one no and two absent. 18 yes, one no. The resolution is adopted. Next item of business is F1C. Chair will stand for motion on F1C resolution 13-11003 to amend the general purpose school fund budget by $59,420. Mr. Burkhalter removes. Mr. French seconds. The motion is to adopt resolution 13-11003. Are the members ready for the question? Vote yes to adopt the resolution. Vote no not to adopt. Good, 19 yes. 19 yes, zero no. The resolution is adopted. The next item of business is F2. The chair will stand for a motion. On agenda item F2, resolution 13-11004, to revise grant procedures. Mr. Carver moves. Is there a second? Mr. Burkhalter seconds. The motion is to adopt resolution 13-11004. Commissioner Folks, you're recognized, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. At the agenda committee meeting, um, several, of us, several of us asked for a clarification of the meaning of the policy with respect to what some people call gallows grants. Uh, for those of you in the audience, a gallows grant is one where the feds or the state pay for the first year or two, then pull the trap door and hang the county taxpayers with the costs after that time. The policy reads, if the grant will require any type of county funding after it is awarded or in the future, it will go to the Budget Committee for approval. At the Agenda Committee, several of us asked whether the grant would, be, would then be required to come before the Commission for approval. Mr. Vineyard told us that it would in all cases. 
I would ask that this statement uh, be included in the minutes so the record is clear on this matter. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Are the members ready for the question? The pending motion is to adopt Resolution 1311-004. Vote yes to adopt, vote no not to adopt. Nineteen yes, zero no. The resolution is adopted. The next item of business is F3. The chair will stand for motion on F3, Resolution 1311-005, to approve an interlocal agreement between Blount County and the Town of Louisville to contract with the Blount County Animal Shelter. Mr. Samples moves. Mr. Carver seconds. The motion is to adopt Resolution 1311-005. Are the members ready for the question? Vote yes to adopt the resolution. Vote no not to adopt. Good 19, yes. 19 yes, zero no. The resolution is adopted. The next item of business is agenda item F4A. The chair will stand for a motion on F4A res a request for space by the circuit court clerk. Have a motion to, to approve F4A and B. Is there a second? Mr. Carver seconds. Mr. Folks, you're recognized, sir. At the uh, agenda committee meeting, I asked that someone uh, from uh, the circuit court, court clerk's office be here to answer questions. Do we have anybody? Just a moment. Commissioner Mr. Fultz. Folks, just a moment. Commissioner Folks, will you yield? I'll yield, yeah. Commissioner Burkhalter, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I spoke with the circuit court clerk, and he had any, a scheduling conflict for this evening. He's got two very sick parents, one of them which I understand hospice has been called in on, so he was not able to attend tonight to answer the questions that Mr. Fultz had raised at that meeting. I did ask him those questions that were raised, such as the document retention policy. Uh, the judges dictate how long the documents are kept. There is statute as to how long documents from cases have to be hard copies kept in order for appellate purposes. So those are all governed by statute. He said that he would love to be able to digitize them as much as possible, that, but that would add about $100,000 to his budget. And if we wanted to allocate data processing equipment and personnel to digitize his records, he'd be glad to do that. But uh, the space that he has got is because, according to what his comments were, is that the records office or uh, record storage is maxed out in regard to taking any more of his office's records and these are still the files that are still within the appellate time period so they're not ready to be stored for long-term storage so they're still somewhat in an active state and i'll now then yield to commissioner Fultz if he has any other follow-up questions i might could answer commissioner folks you're recognized sir thank you um am i to understand did you say that the central records department cannot take any more records? Just a moment. Commissioner Burkhalter. From what Mr. Hatcher told me is that the records that he is needing this space for are not the appropriate records that records is taking right now because records is running out of space as well. That's part of the grants that she's been applying for to build out the uh, the building where she's trying to move the records to out of Hubbard, but that these records are ones that are still in an active file. He just does not have the space inside of the circuit inside of the Justice Center for storage of those records. 
Commissioner Folks, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, so keeping records on paper in this day and age is a very expensive proposition. The only way you should be keeping records is digitally. And I, I would debate this $100,000 number that, that's thrown out to keep records digitally. We got scanners all over this place. Um, we also have a central records department, and we ought to be looking to the central records de department to solve this problem, and um, perhaps we ought to have a committee of the commission look at this records issue, because you just can't afford to build expensive building space to house a bunch of boxes of records. It makes no sense in this digital age. Um, I'm voting against this. Thank you. Are the members ready for the question? Pending motion is to approve request for space by the circuit court clerk and by the human resource department. Vote yes to approve the request. Vote no not to approve. Eighteen yes, one no. The requests are approved. Item G, announcements and statements. I have an announcement uh, on behalf of the Animal Shelter Committee. The November meeting is canceled. Are there other announcements or statements? Commissioner Burkhalter, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I have enjoyed, and I do mean enjoyed, my service with this body over the course of the past three years as we have worked on the pressing matters impacting our community. I deeply appreciate the trust that the constituents of District 1 have placed in me by electing me to this office. I have been both humbled and honored to have been elected by you, my peers, to the leadership positions with which you have entrusted to me with your careful consideration and at times pencil tapping patience with me as I have expressed my opinions, offered insights, engaged in discussion with you, and upon occasion perhaps even been a little tag long-winded. While I will not be seeking another term in this office, I do look forward to continuing to fulfill my commitment to the, citizens, to the citizens in my district until such time as either the end of this current term expires or when the citizens of Blount County call me to assume the oath of office for their juvenile judge. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Any other statements or announcements? Moving to item H on the agenda, public input on the items not on the agenda. If you'll come forward, sir. Introduce yourself. My name is Douglas Ben from Alcoa, and I've decided to speak about only positive matter matters tonight. And if you like your doctor and you like your health plan, you can keep it, period. <laughs> and yes, I'm still angry. I thought I'd spend these three minutes going over the first six months of the year. I decided to go back in time and copy most of this from Jim Folt's website, which is the only website from any commissioner I could find. He gives the reasons for his votes on his site. I was wondering, does anyone else have a website like his to keep the, your district informed? I didn't think so. Are you afraid to give the citizens the real reasons for your votes? Let's start with January, council due to weather. February, the county, county is facing more than $9 million deficit in next year's budget. This could result in more than a 20% increase in the county's real estate tax rate. March, since there's been no serious work done to identify ways to cut the budget, the only ideas coming from some commissioners involve creative ways to raise taxes. 
The latest idea being promoted by Commissioners Burkhalter and Leal is to impose a wheel tax of $35 per vehicle. This idea was resoundingly voted down by the citizens a few years ago, but some commissioners persist in promoting it because they hope it will make a major tax increase less apparent to the citizens by splitting it between a wheel tax and a property tax. April, the Blount County Commission voted to spend $85,000 to hold a referendum on a major new tax. Commissioners Birchfield, Harrison, Hasty, Melton, Wright, and Foltz voted against the wheel tax. The others, thanks for wasting $85,000 of our money. And how did the wheel tax go? Oh yeah, two to one against it. May, the new $17 million health insurance plan for the county employees was also passed without a written resolution. Under the new plan, county employees will pay $25 per month, up from zero, for their health insurance. The cost of the taxpayers exceeds $725 per month per employee. Are you kidding me? I know people paying $500 a month for their plans. Boy, the taxpayers are pretty stupid, aren't they? A resolution allowing Hatcher to hire another judicial commissioner was introduced, but no res resume or background information was available at the agenda meeting. Commissioner Merle requested that, his, that a resume be included in the information for the commission meeting. Hatcher failed to provide this information. Let's see, Hatcher. Is that Dr. Hatcher, PhD? Didn't he bill the county for $3,910 for his degrees from the Renewed Attitudes Massage and Body Sculpting Studio? And he wasn't even fired. June, the budget adopted by your Blount County Commission did nothing to eliminate wasteful spending. Under the approved budget, the county will spend nearly $5 million more than it will take in. It avoids the tax increase in the coming election year by decimating the county's rainy day funds, including a fund that exists to make sure we can make the payments on our nearly quarter billion dollars of county debt. See you next month. Mary. Rhonda needs a count on the Christmas party by Monday. If you attend the Christmas party, let her know tomorrow. I know she sent out a bunch of emails and because I've received them and so she's not had too good a response. So tell her yes or no and, and see where we're at on this, okay? <laughs> 